Uh, does anybody have a navigation skill? Um, I, don't. I believe I have a stellar navigation skill. Hmm. We are not traveling amongst the stars currently. Yes. I do have navigation. Awesome. Uh, surface navigation? Mark. It just says na navigation. Yeah, but you can use that to try and find your way through the hive city. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and roll. Um, that's intelligence, right? Yes. Oh, this yeah. will go well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Man, yeah, absolutely. I tell right. it's 34, actually. It's quite high. Yeah. The local arbitase, you know, they don't, mm -hmm. they don't skimp. Cool. Well, um, Jack says, you know, this way. He starts stalking off. And he leads you around a couple corners down through the, the, the massive dome that you were in yesterday where there's a number of street vendors uh, selling their wares in the morning. And he leads you over to a, um, to a, a side port that's uh, sealed shut. And he, um, he pulls out his Arbitase badge and flashes it in front of a, a, a pad on the door, and it hisses open. And inside, there is a uh, freight elevator with a number of uh, orange glowing lights blinking down at you. The inside is very dark. The floor is scraped and stained with a number of um, you know, damages and, and random goods that have been transported on it. All right, Mr. Kappa, I think this is where you step in, friend. All right. Well, first things first, we need to figure out if there is actually any security on this whatsoever. Uh, are you just uh, sort of examining the inside of the elevator to see what you can see? Let's examine the control panel, figure All out right. exactly what it does, where it takes us. Go ahead and um, roll a perception test, but give yourself a plus 30 to your perception. All right. I, I, think, <laughs> I think I'm fine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, yes, uh, this, this, this freight elevator will take you as high as, um, as, high as the noble level above House um, Ophili, which is where you're at right now. It takes you up into um, House Phaedrus territory. And then from there, you'll probably have to hop out and try and find another elevator to take you up to House Atroclus, the local navigator's guild. Uh, the, the elevator is monitored. There's a, a small uh, picked sensor up in the upper right-hand corner, but you think you could probably disable it very easily. Okay, um, except for the fact that they, it's probably already seen us, considering we are now inside the elevator, right? Or are we outside the elevator? You're inside of it, but you were just poking your head in. Okay, so here's hoping that no one was paying attention. <laughs> if, if you wanted to, you could probably do a more complicated sort of work with the machine spirit and make it so that it never saw you in the first place. Mm. Disabling it would be suspicious. If they saw that, they would send at least the servitor down to fix it up. That mm. sounds like a pretty terrible idea, all things considered. We could probably bypass it to ensure that it is looping some kind of footage. That might work. Whatever you think's best, you're the, you know, this is your, your place, man. We don't know. All right. Well, we'll attempt to set up the picked sensor so that it is looping footage from earlier in the day. Very good. I like so that. go ahead and give yourself a, a tech use, an intelligence test. Okay. I believe I have tech use as a skill. You do. And it's a 38 is the target there. Okay. Well, that didn't go so well. All right. Well, um, unfortunately, you, you, you put your hands up there and you start fiddling around with the wires and you pull out your uh, implements and accoutrement. You um, accidentally jer jerk on one of the wires and pull it out. The entire thing shorts, and then a little blinking red light starts blinking on the front of the camera. Well, Bart, that's what you just do. Well... Uh, if you'd given me two hours to properly appease the machine spirit and apply the sacred unguents, this I never would not saw any sacred anything right there. You just it, ripped that wire out. That's all you did. <laughs> it looks like the machine spirit is very that, angry. That, that is what it looked like to you. <laughs> this is far too complex for your minds to understand the mysteries of the Omnisire. <laughs> However, like... we, we do appear to have a little bit of a problem. So what did you actually just do? 
What what is the problem here? I understand the blinking red light's not good. Yeah, yes, that, that is probably about as far as we should go in explaining the mysteries of the machine spirit. The blinking light is not good. The machine spirit is not pleased. And uh, I it, would suggest that the security office probably knows that we're here. Is the lift operational still? Yes. Is it the, what, is, how long will it take us to go up? Uh, to get to the, the, the next floor up? It's a 15-minute yes. ride vertically. I guess that leaves... Uh, the plan A that we had originally, Mr. Cap, and I, I know it's not optimal, and maybe we're walking into a trap, but we have to do that now. Well, it's less likely that we'll walk into a trap that way than we would be this way, stuck in an elevator for 15 minutes. So. Yeah. Well, if the elevator still works, we should take it, I would imagine, right? The problem is that they're going to know that we're here for the next 15 minutes, and assuming there are hostile forces up there, they're going to be prepared for us, one would assume. Is this the only lift here? Is there, there has to certainly be another lift somewhere. There are seven lifts between this floor and the next. Well, or this six more house, tries as far as I'm end. concerned. We, we could take one of the civilian elevators and assume that the heretics would not be audacious enough to attack us in broad daylight. All right. How far Let's away is that, shot. Jax? Uh, I think it's just right over here, actually. <laughs> you're right. There's right. a civilian elevator connecting to this uh, major hub that you're sort of just on the edge of. Uh, it looks like it's going to arrive in the next six minutes. Sure. Let's do that. All right. So you, you wait in front of the crowd as you're waiting. A large crowd of individuals begins gathering by the civilian elevator. Uh, finally, the doors hiss open. Uh, a large, a, a loud chime sounds, and um, a number of people rush off, and everybody's sort of jostling and bumping themselves to, to get on. Um, and the, the boarding goes without incident, the doors close. Um, the, the elevator is a very, very large space. It's currently holding about 80 people, and there's a number of seats uh, all around the outside edges. It's very well lit, and there's a number of, of picked sensors up on the top okay. of the ceiling. It's obviously well guarded. Um, Jax, you, you realize that um, over in the corner standing and watching the crowd is one of the local Arbites. It's, it's the gentleman you met yesterday, um, who you've, you've met before a couple of times. His name is Craig. Okay, All right, I kind of make my way to him, sifting through the crowd. Ah, he, waves, he waves at you as you approach. He says, oh, hey, Jax, how's it going? Good, Craig. How are you doing, friend? Oh, uh, you know these elevator shifts, they're just so boring. I hear you on that. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a living, I guess. What, we're on our uh, way for uh, Inquisitor duty here, trying to check on the manifest of that ship we were checking out yesterday. Uh, in, 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 inquisitor duty? Yes. Uh, oh, oh my, wow, well, uh, do, do you need any help? Uh, do you have a Vox channel I could take down or something like that? Yeah. Do you need your help? Absolutely, I got a spare. Wait, hang on. He, he reaches into one of the many pockets on his, on his pants. He pulls one out. It's a, a small Vox communicator that snaps to your neck, and uh, it, it registers very quiet vocalizations. All right, thanks, friend. If we need the local Arbitas to help us out, I, I may have to call you in. We've already ran into some resistance, but we're on the case ourselves. Well, wow, that sounds, that sounds real exciting, Jax. Uh, good, good luck. Thank you, and please try to keep this between just the two of us, all right? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, you, you wait for a couple of minutes, and the, the, the lift slowly shudders to a halt. There's a loud chime that sounds, the doors open, and um, you, you step out into um, a security checkpoint. And you can see just, just beyond the security checkpoint, there's, um, there's a number of local Arbitase guards standing beside a couple of uh, large vertical machines that they're having everybody pass through. There's a number of picked servitors sort of flying over the crowd, um, skull servitors, just recording with one of their eyes. And um, beyond, you can see that the, the area that it breaks into is incredibly wide. It's well paved. The, the ground is a... a a clean-looking, pretty shiny metal. There's even um, a large, uh, robust bronze cast servitor sort of trundling down the center of this of this passageway, sort of polishing with a big flat pad. 
Um, and there's a dozen people, or not a dozen, dozens of people moving down this thoroughfare. It runs left to right across your, uh, across your field of vision. You're sort of coming up to we this kind of checkpoint that it lets it. Walk out and hang back, and I say, Engelbar, what do you advise? Do we just proceed as normal, or what do you want? Well, if they were going to know that we're here, then they would certainly know by now. We have passed no less than 17 picked sensors along the way. So I would suggest that we attempt to proceed as normal, act like nothing is out of the ordinary, and approach the Navigator's Guild as would anybody else. Okay. Before we do, do we want to even give up? Do we want to say anything about the Samsonite? Just think, in case uh, it could be involved? I think we say as little as possible until we get to our, our place. So why are we going to the Navigator's Guild just so that we're on the, on the same page? Uh, we're looking to get off planet eventually. We need to map out a course or something like that. Does that sound good? Sure. Works for me. Awesome. Okay. Jax, you lead the way. All right. Very nice. So eventually, um, I assume you guys get in line and wait, you know, for your turn to, to come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you come up to the front, and one of the, um, one of the local Arbites, he, he looks at you and he says, Ah, oh, Arbites, eh? What's your business on the floor? Uh, we're just looking to uh, map out a course off planet, so we just have to make a stop at the, the local... Why, I don't know why I'm blanking on this word. Navigator. The, black, the Navigator Guild, basically. Yeah. Yeah, uh, House Atroclus, huh? Okay, yeah, that's no problem. I can let you through. You know how to get there, right? It's just down this, this street, down to the left. There's another... Uh, oh, actually, hey, you know what? I got an access card that'll give you access to a service elevator. It'll take you straight up into House Atroclus. You'll come oh, I appreciate out, that. You'll come out in the Arbitace office of the house, so um, you know, just, just let them know why you're there. Sure, thank you. I appreciate that. What's your name, buddy? Uh, my name's Jax Romulus, and these are my friends. No, oh, that's just fine. Uh, he makes a note down on a data slate. He pulls a, a, an access key out of his pocket. It looks like a, a little hunk of metal with a whole bunch of, of little spires and stuff sticking off of it. He says, here, that'll get you into uh, House Atroclus. Uh, just leave it back down at the Arbitace sector uh, when you're done, please. Will do, friend. I, I appreciate this. Much obliged. Cool. We all get through security easily, or is Jax on the Yeah, he, he waves you all through. Okay. Uh, he says, you know, any, any friend of Jax is a friend of mine. Any friend of the Arbitace is a friend of ours. As we walk by, um, I kind of lean over to Frix and say, does your, uh, does your abilities tell you anything about perhaps the intentions here? Are you able to pick up anything? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, no. Um... No, not at this time. Okay. I don't think Eng there's anything I can do that can benefit us here. What are your Eng psychic powers, uh, Frix? Um, right, my psychic powers are Touch of Madness, uh, which is the ability to make someone believe something that is frankly not true. Uh, white Noise, which can not only disrupt the ability to uh, sense psychic uh, sort of, uh, I think, things going on, but also to disrupt technology and then sense presence which is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Precognition is what I think Jeff wants, which we do not have. <laughs> okay. Good to know. And I, then, as Frick says, that I lean over to Engelbart and say, uh, that felt a little bit too easy, or are they just that friendly? I'm not used to people being that forthcoming. Mm. Access to the Navigator's Guild is usually highly restricted, even to members of the Arbites. The fact that we were able to simply saunter through is suspicious to say the least, especially bearing in mind that they will have known that we were, let's just say, tampering with the freight elevator not 15 minutes earlier. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't have trust expected that key card. some questioning on that. The fact that it wasn't even mentioned is highly suspicious. I don't think we should use that key card, Jax. What if we... What if... What if we had the man believe that he is talking to his superior and you inquire about whether or not he has just sent us into a trap. The man we just you, passed? You're going to go back to the security uh, point and make him believe that in the middle of everyone. Is that what you're you saying? Have, no, no, no. There's a way we could do this. I got I it. Can, I, 
What? Let me ask you, Fricks. I'm not familiar with yes. this facility. Would would you be able to basically shroud someone in in his belief that they are a superior officer, so they could walk up to him and say, "Come over here. I need to talk to you." And I then will ask these questions. I will make the fellow who gave you the access key believe that you are his superior officer or a superior officer. I could do this from a con away from the security checkpoint. At okay. a maximum of a hundred meters is what my training has allowed me to do. I'm I'm all for that, friends. Do you think we should try it? Before we do that, could I examine the key and see if there's anything Absolutely. out of the ordinary? Yeah, hand totally. It, hand it over to him. Uh, give me a, a tech use roll at uh, plus ten. Okay. Nice. Oh man. Um, yeah. Obviously, this this key has been tampered with. It looks like um, one of the uh, one of the spires has been bent and twisted a little bit. So it, maybe it wouldn't work at all. Maybe it would trigger an alarm. Who knows? This key is obviously not what it looks like. Frankly, I feel we should execute the security officer. He is I'm clearly with tampering with the blessed machine spirit of this key. I don't care much about the that machines, but he just heretical. tried to kill us. <laughs> Hang on, friends. We gotta be. We gotta tread lightly here. We're we are not sure what we're stepping into, and we know that there's there's been some corruption here. We're on we're on the trail of some taint, I do believe. Um, Fricks, how about we go ahead with the plan? I'm going to go over there and uh, interrogate this guy as if I well, I got a plan. I, I can I can act this out. I've I've got an idea. I warn you, although Eli won't care. I warn you that there is still a risk at us doing this. And with the information that Engelbart has just discovered, we may want to act with just that. I just want to warn you. Well, I, I mean, initially they're going to, at least this guy's going to think I'm his commanding officer. So I want to go confirm our suspicions before we act. How's that sound? Jack. Because we, we can't just launch into an attack against the, the Arbitaz, right? I, mean, I, I would... just want to warn you. Warn me against what? Against, against using my powers. Jack, this well, psycho appears that it to be malfunctioning. You. Should I apply the sacred oils? Uh. <laughs> I'm like you know, that Ingle Bartlett. Yeah, I don't. Let's do that. Can I help you with that? Bricks, we uh, know you're you're uh, new to your abilities and you're coming into them. But the only way you can get better at this is if you practice, if you work mm. on. I've I've got faith in you. So this is a psychic power that you would use, Fricks? Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, let's do it. All right. So uh, give me a psychic power test. All right. So um, it's a threshold 11. Yep. And uh, so what it's, is it it's 2d10 plus my willpower is 4? Let me see. We've never cast a psychic power just yet. So, so, from what I understand, it is whatever my psi rating is, is how many d10 I get to roll. Yep. I now have a two psi rating, so it'd be 2d10 plus four. I need to yep. get above 11. And if I roll a nine, then I have to roll a, a psychic phenomenon. Once I'm going to move as far away roll. as I physically yeah. can from the Psyker at this time. I'm starting you to can. back up, too. You can. I'm actually pretty confident at this point. I've got a big-ass grin on my face as I'm about to... All right, I'll move a little faster, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, I'm moving um, real far away. You guys are moving off down the right of the passage, and uh, Frix is just sort of around the corner. Is that what's going on? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I want to clearly be out of view as well yeah. doing this, so... Um, Very cool. Right. So roll 2d10 plus 4. So what, what's a good roll here before you do this? Anything 11 above plus. 11, buddy. Anything above 11. And, and, and preferably no 9s. Yep, 9s are bad. It will show the individual rolls, right? Yeah, yeah yes. it will. <laughs> oh, shit. So that's not too bad because yeah. it was successful. However... Steven, that means now something happens, right? That means oh. that, would you please, sir, roll 1d100. As, he, as this is happening, well, we wouldn't see anything happen right now just yet, right, Steven? No, not just yet. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm hi hiding behind a bulkhead. so yeah, I don't see I'm, I'm right next to TB, and I'm like, you know, Fricks walked into my fucking bunk this morning. She told me to <laughs> be wary of the terrors of the dark. I don't trust this fucking psyker. 
more than anything Did you in the world. engage in coitus in the name of the empire. You know what? You know I would what? never touch I would that. Just like to point out, if you don't trust me right now, then that means that you must have some sort of idea that the you're nowhere near me. You're fucking dealing with demons right now. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna roll one d one hundred. God damn it! Spare below. Okay. Thirty five. Okay. Oh my god! Wow. Um, That's not good. No, it's it's brain le or breath leech. Uh, Everyone, not. including the psyker, becomes short of breath for a round and cannot make any run or charge actions. And that affects a number of people at the security checkpoint. You just see like a couple people start clutching their chest and like breathing a little harder. Um, it looks like they're pretty uncomfortable. Um, As a low smoker, <laughs> I am totally great. I'm like, all right. I go, I are, we, are we normal. good? Are we good here? Uh, Fricks, can I go forward? All for lung cancer. <laughs> it was successful. Uh, yeah, unless, I mean, unless there's some sort of a willpower test, uh, I think. He gets a willpower test to resist mm. your attempt to. There's also overbleed, right? Only if you're 10 oh, over, which is 9 over. So let's see. Uh, Six. Nice. We're rolling good today. Well, in theory, this shouldn't really matter anyway, since hopefully, since it was successful, we're not going to be shooting any time in the next five seconds. Oh, sorry, Jeff. It's, um, it's not you who gets the willpower to resist. It's the uh, target of the power. Um, but hang on. I need to take a quick break. Maybe it'd be a good time to pause for three minutes, okay. and then yeah. we'll see what happens with the roll when we come back. Cool. We can take a quick three-minute break. So, uh, guys, we're going to do just that. When we come back, we will uh, figure out what is going on here. As we head into dark hour, or dark heresy hour number two. We'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.